The Great American Beer Festival in Denver, Colorado is one of the largest beer festivals in the U.S., featuring over 500 breweries and nearly 4,000 beers. Beyond the sheer volume of the best brew this country has to offer, the real prize is the opportunity to win gold, silver, or bronze in a competition that's been described as the Olympics of Beer. This past year's event celebrated 30 years. The first festival had 800 attendees. This year, there were over 49,000. With thousands of beers competing in 83 style categories, the competition is fierce. Winning a medal at the GABF is certainly a, a great badge of honor. Hands down, this is the Super Bowl of beers. If you win a medal at the Great American Beer Festival, then it undoubtedly means that you are the best representation of that style of beer in the United States. Beer America is the first reality TV series that follows six of the country's most innovative and dynamic craft breweries, doing everything in their power to make sure they don't come home empty-handed from this year's festival. This one's very special because most of the judges are your peers. These guys aren't brewing your father's beer. They've created a craft beer revolution that's sweeping the country. The craft beer industry, I think, is uh, it's beating all of the odds. Each episode of Beer America will introduce a new brewing pioneer from different regions all across the country. They all brew beer, but this series will show how the regional influences. I think the East Coast is different than the West Coast, and the Rocky Mountains are certainly different than either one of those, and I think uh, the beauty of craft beer is that it's an art, and you can put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. The outrageous personality and their small business philosophies make each brewery and their beer one of a kind. I think our unspoken mantra is ride bikes, drink beer, and go f yourself. Can I say that? Yeah, that's all right. That's what, we make, that's what you have editing for. A perfect example of the American beer revolution we're talking about is Oscar Blues, located in Longmont, Colorado. When they brew beer, they like it in the can, literally. Dale's Pale Ale is the first American craft beer in a can, and it was a very big, bold, hoppy beer. The, the very thought of putting really good beer into a can. I mean, cans were always the antithesis of good beer, and now they've completely turned that around. We were brewing outside of the box or the envelope style beers. It was a reflection of the type of people and the environment that we live in um, here in you know, the foothills of, of the Rocky Mountains. Visiting Oscar Blues is always a welcoming experience, so we decided to spend a few days with them during the week of the Great American Beer Festival, which gave them the opportunity to show off all aspects of their brand attitude. We have over 40 events in seven days. We're running buses from Denver up to the brewery, stopping at all of our locations. You know, we have the original Oscar Blues in Lyons. We have uh, Oscar Blues Hops and Heifers Farm. And we have Homemade Liquids and Solids Restaurant, which is 43 craft beers. We got the brewery, we have the tap room. This year alone, they've grown 40% and are now the second largest craft brewery in the state of Colorado. To be part of a company that, that's growing at a 55% clip is amazing. My first year with the brewery, we did 10,000 kegs worth of beer. We now do that and more every month. We started out in a little office, four feet by four feet, I guess, you know. We were always worried about Friday's payroll. How Not anymore. Today, Oscar Blues is leading the way with innovative ideas, one of which is the new Hops and Heifers Farm, which completes the farm to glass to plate circle. What better way to christen the public opening than with a gospel brunch? The whole idea what we're trying to do is definitely hammer home that, that the triple Lindy, you know, the relationship between the farm and the brewery and the restaurants. This is absolutely amazing. Are you kidding me? It's surreal. An inspiring and beautiful morning here uh, on the hop farm. I think it's uh, uh, something that easily is going to turn into a GABF tradition. I think the hop farm has officially been blessed. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar Blues. <laughs>
They were all making excuses as to why they most likely wouldn't win a medal in this year's competition. Um, our beers do tend to uh, kind of hang outside of the style guideline. Unfortunately, sometimes you create a really good beer that doesn't fit a category. All the angst of, uh, of us caring about whether we get a medal and then once we don't get one, us saying how much we don't really care about getting a medal. You know, I think it has different meanings to different people. For me, I'd, I could really give a shit. That's, that's kind of really not what we're about. Medals or no medals, I mean, the big thing is, is we're busy as shit around here. Yeah, yeah. And there's a reason for that, because people love our beer. I'm not going to turn it down if you, if you send one this way. After we meet our six brewers, the final episode of Beer America will take place in Denver, Colorado at the Great American Beer Festival. We'll see if all the hard work and dedication preparing for the festival pays off. This is the most important day because all the brewers are here. You can actually meet the brewers one on one, so that's just really cool. Most of the brewers we meet might say they don't care, but trust us, they do. Yeah, so the emotional roller coaster is about to start. We really don't care if we get an award. And then as it gets closer, then we start caring maybe a little bit more. And the goal to Paco's It's all good, you know? I can, I can kind of take that kind of rejection at this point. <laughs> and then when they actually get to our, one of our categories and we really care. Category 29. 29, this is us. Style this is us. The bronze. Goes to Pilsner, the silver, to Mama's Little Yellow. Yeah! 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 Winning just one medal is an amazing accomplishment for any brewer, but the gang at Oscar Blues ended up walking away with not one, yeah! not two, but three medals in all. Yeah! Yeah! This is insane! Oscar Blues is just one great example of the types of brewers Beer America will follow to this year's Great American Beer Festival. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm, I'm speechless. It was just a great day for Oscar Blues. Three medals. What did I say? I don't care about those thinking medals. You know, except today, motherfucker. <laughs> when we cracked the ice, broke the ice on, on the mamas earlier, it just it made all the, everything actually seem possible after that. And then, you know, uh, with the Deviant, the biggest category ever uh, for the GABF, that we actually got a silver medal for that. This guy brewed that beer. Yeah, 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 man. This is the year. This is blood, man. It's insanity. I won't ever forget this day ever. So, it's good. It's local, it's regional, it's America. Beer America.